Okay, I'm going to show you how to create separations in InDesign from a four color process uh, postcard. Okay, so we're in InDesign. We have our bleeds and everything all pulled, but I'm just going to get rid of that so it shows you just in preview. And the first thing you want to do, so I'm done with my project, I'm ready to go, and it's just so simple to make separations. You would make separations for multiple reasons. If you were going to do a screen print, you would have to do four different screens, just like a printer at a real print shop would have to make uh, plates. You make, would make a plate for the cyan, a plate for the magenta, a plate for the yellow, and a plate for the black. So what we're going to do is be printing these out in black and white on a laser printer. It has to be on a laser printer because the dot patterns are what we can use for making the plates or making the screens. So it's simply as going from InDesign, File, Print. These, If you were going to make a a screen for screen printing you would probably do this on a transparency film but there are ways to print it out in black and white on a white piece of paper and still get it on onto uh, you know your screen for your to burn it on there's ways to do that I'm sure you could do a YouTube search for that all right it's simple if this is a postcard it's it's smaller than a uh, eight and a half by eleven piece of paper. So I'm going to choose a black and white 1200 DPI printer, and I've got that. I do like it to be set up in the middle instead of in the upper left, and we do want marks and bleeds. So crop marks, not bleed marks. This tend to confuse students. Crop marks, registration marks, color bars, and page information. And again, you do want to use the bleed settings. Probably your printer supplied you with the information for this. So you want to set it up, and we did it originally in our file. Registration marks, crop marks will help you cut things out. Registration marks will help you line up all four of the pieces of film so that you can have, when you're printing, you have like a little guide. If you were screen printing, you would need these guides to do it, and, and the computer or the printer at the big print shop needs these guides as well. Color bars just help um, you to see what colors are being used as well as help the printer and a real print shop test colors. And page information is going to be critical here because it'll tell us what plate we're using and what um, what plate's printing because they're all print in black. The cyan will print black. The magenta will print 100% black. So. We have all this done. Output. It's simply as going from composite or anything else to separations. It's that simple. These are usually at different angles, right? Angle 71, blah, blah, 18, 0, and 45. And then we're ready to print. You just hit print. You have it set to the correct printer, and it will do it. I'm going to also show you how to print separations on just a two-color job. And here's a two-color job. It does have its bleeds already set in. And I know it's a two-color job because over here in the swatches panel, I have two colors selected. And these have a dot next to them, so that means that they are Pantone PMS colors. So we're, it'll make two separations. It'll try to make six, but um, four of them will be blank. So we're going to go to File, Print, or Command P. Same thing, we have our three, uh, 1200 DPI printer um, selected. And same thing, set up. We want it centered. We already have it. The marks and bleeds are already on, but crop marks, registration, color bars, and page information. And the bleed settings are set up inside the document. If you didn't have them set up, you would want to click it, unclick this and put it in there. And then output. Again, we want to go to separations. The only difference is we're going to actually click off these four because these are a coded Pantone 274. Pantone 179 and C stands for coded. These are all set at the angle of 45. So I'm going to change one of them to zero. So I'm going to go down here and change that to zero and we should be golden. You do not want your angles to be the same or it will create a moray. So then you would simply hit print and that's it.